This is from Matt Haney. He had asked uh, about Pep. We, we, all this time, we haven't spoken about Pep. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. the legendary character. Uh -huh. But he asked, uh, Pep Guardiola is known for his tactics and playing out of the back. I, I'm curious, how much the, does he work with goalkeepers specifically? And does he emphasize any particular skills in addition to footwork? We, I said we wouldn't ask about footwork, and here we go. But they asked, <laughs> so go for it. It was inevitable, Man City. It was inevitable. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're so usually our trainings go, we're with our goalkeeping coach for 30 to 40 minutes every training, and then we'll go in um, with the team um, and we'll do tactics or we'll do building out or we'll do um, games or shooting or something. It, it'll, it'll really depend on um, what we do in training will depend on what the team, what the next game, like what that team does, likes to do. So like, Burnley kind of likes a high press. So yesterday or today we were doing a little build out, um, but we haven't worked on build out in the last like couple of weeks because the last five teams we played haven't really pressed us too much. Um, so they stuff like better. that. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's up. it's honestly it's hard. Yeah, it's hard when the teams <laughs> sit back. It's so much harder for us. Um, it's so much easier when teams press us. Obviously, it's a little risky, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, we do. We obviously the keepers have. To, we have to have. Uh, good feet, but it's also about like reading the uh, reading the game and reading um, where the space is, where where the open guy is, where the press is coming from. It's it's all that stuff. So I mean that yeah, that comes with training and and yeah, just reps and reps and reps and training. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you thought maybe for your prospects for the national team, because as far as I'm concerned, you're the number one, but you also need minutes, right? Were you were you put in awkward position or were you saying to yourself like, yo, it's cool. I'm going to go get those minutes. And, I'll be, I'll be fine. And I'll add this because everybody here was like, oh, he shouldn't go. He's never going to play. And then even, uh, you know, uh, we, we see people, uh, every time you do play, people post on Twitter, like he, they quote, like he's never going to play or whatever. So yeah. <laughs> No, Not I me. Mean, I trusted the whole time, but God, no, I'm a Christian. Man. Thanks, bro. So, you know, Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Appreciate I got you. your back, baby. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I think obviously the thought about, or the talk, yeah, I had discussions with my agent, with my, with, with Greg Burhalter, with my parents about, um, yeah, getting games and, and trying maybe going on loan again to get games, um, coming back to Manchester. Um, and we thought that, yeah, I signed with Manchester city. I want to, I want to play for this club. Um, I want to be a part of it. Um, I want to come here. I want to get tested. I want to learn from everybody around here, um, get better. And, um, yeah, with hard work, um, good things come. So, um, I'm, I'm lucky enough. I've been able to get some games and then, um, they've gone well. And, um, so my focus is really just on the day to day on the process is getting better and, and everything will fall into line. If I work hard, if I continue to, to keep the right mindset and, and, um, and, and yeah, just focus on those things.